Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel today. I just want to give a big shout out to all of our members for hitting over that 4,000 subscriber mark. I really appreciate all the support from everyone and I can't wait to see where this takes us into the future. So in today's episode, we're going to go over how to set up custom camera angles and we're going to talk about some hardware that may make this job just a little bit easier. So stick around because we got a lot to go over in today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. All right, so today we're gonna to be using the Junkers 52 to demonstrate how to set up your custom camera angles. And we're gonna be going over some hardware that would make your life a little bit easier. But make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. And if this video helps you out today, smash on that thumbs up button. Be sure to check out our new Facebook group. Link will be down in the description. So to get started with this, the first thing we're gonna need is, of course, your keyboard. And the second piece of hardware that I highly recommend is going to be an Xbox controller. Now the purpose for this Xbox controller is so that we can move the camera around smoothly and not have any jitters or stutters in the camera. And for those of you who fly drones, this is gonna make it way easier for you to operate your drone camera as well as setting up your cockpit views. All right, so let's get started and jump into the controls menu. So we just need to hit the escape button and then go down to the controls options. You can pick one of these controllers up on Amazon. I think I only paid like $15 for it. I'll post a link down in the description if you'd like to see the one that I picked. Again, there's no affiliate link. I'm not getting paid for any of this. So if you already have a Xbox controller or something that can plug into your USB, then you're probably good to go. Oh, and by the way, if you guys have any questions while we're going through this, be sure to pop those down below in the comments section and I'll get right back to you. All right, so we just need to click on the dual action controller and really I am just gonna be using this for my camera. So can erase everything that is already pre-programmed into this and we can start from scratch. Now we're gonna be using this to control a drone camera as well as our cockpit cameras. So on the screen right now, is how I set each of those up. Don't worry, we're gonna go through each of these one by one. So I set this controller up in mode two for the US as if you were flying an RC drone. Now, if you're in Europe, you might be using mode one and that might be a little bit different. Pictures of that will be on the screen so you can see what the difference is. But for this tutorial, we're gonna stick with the mode two configuration and let's get started. So we're gonna start off with the left joystick here with the up and down movement of that joystick. So in the up and down movement of that joystick, that is gonna be set up as the cockpit view Y translation axis. Open up all, and then while you're in the camera view, you can just type in access here. So when you type in access, you will have all the different options that are gonna populate here for you. And you can just scroll down to the ones that we need. For the left joystick, left and right, we are now gonna set that up as the cockpit view yaw axis. Now let's move over to the right-handed joystick. The up and down motion for our right-handed joystick is going to be the cockpit view Z translation axis. And the left and right option for the right joystick is going to be the cockpit view X translation axis. Great, now once you have all those set up, let's move down to the drone camera. Now for the drone camera, I've got pretty much the same setup for the left and the right joysticks, but I have added a pitch up and pitch down. Now for the pitch up and the pitch down, I was using these buttons right on the back side here and you can pick whatever one you want. And that's kind of handy when you're gonna be using the drone camera because when you wanna get those really good shots, you wanna be able to pitch that drone up and down. Okay, great. So now that everybody's got that taken care of, 
And again, this is going to make your life so, so, so much easier uh, once we jump in the cockpit. So let's go ahead now and jump in the cockpit and see how this is all going to work. All right, so we're going to start out with our cockpit views first. And as you'll notice, if we push left or right on our right joystick here, it will always stay with inside the cockpit. Now, it doesn't necessarily do that with every plane. Some of the other planes I've tested this on, it will jump outside the cockpit. So just keep that in mind. Again, to go forward and backwards now, you're going to be able to use your right stick to push forward and backward and switch around the cockpit view. Your left joystick will control your yaw. So here's where you'll be able to spin around in a circle and then up and down will push you up or down in that cockpit. So that's gonna make it really, really handy, especially if you need to get some controls that are way, way, way down here. It will really enable you to see them well. In this situation, we can use the mouse to help pitch us down. So now we can just right click on the mouse here and scroll up and down. And now we can adjust the pitch inside the cockpit with our mouse. Now that's why I did not set up the pitch on these two triggers for the cockpit because you can use your mouse to pitch inside. But when you switch over to drone mode, you cannot use your mouse when you're in drone mode, which is why I then set these up for pitch and drone control. All right, so now that we've taken a look at what the controls are gonna do for us in the cockpit, let's talk about how to set up those custom camera angles. And then we're gonna talk to you about how to map those custom camera angles to a stream deck, to a throttle quadrant, or to a yoke system. So stick around for that, you don't wanna miss it. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do is to get in the position that you wanna set your view up. So if we wanna get a first officer view, we can hop over here to our first officer side and say we wanna get a good view of the instruments over here. All we need to do is get the instruments in focus for what we wanna look at and then we're gonna hop down here to the keyboard. So how we're gonna set this up is we're gonna hit the Control Alt and then whichever number you want to correspond with that camera view. So we're gonna set this up as camera view number one. So we're gonna hit the Control Alt and number one. Great. Now if we go back and reset our position in the cockpit and then come back to our keyboard here and hit Alt and one, it will take us back to that camera angle that we had set up there. Now we can set up just a couple more here. We really want a good view of the center pedestal here. So we can come over to the center pedestal, get the view that we want, go down to our keyboard. Again, we're gonna hit the Control Alt and we're gonna make this number two. So now if I reset our position and I hit Alt and one, it will take us to our first position. If I hit Alt and two, it will now take us to our second position that we have set up. Now I'm not gonna go through how to set up a bunch of other ones because I think you get the point of how to do this. So now we're gonna take a look at how to set up some camera views from a passenger's perspective. Now, if we're too high and we try to go forward, we kind of knock into the circuit breaker panel. But if we duck down, we can go right through the pathway and now we are in the passenger compartment, which looks absolutely gorgeous, I might add. Wow. I just purchased this the other day and I have not yet toured the back of this. And wow, this, this is really, really good. I mean, they put a lot of effort into this. Okay, so let's get back to the camera views. Let's set up this camera view right here. All right, again, we're gonna jump back over to the keyboard. We're gonna go down, we're gonna hit the Control Alt, and we're gonna set this up as number three. So now if we reset our camera position back to our cockpit mode, and we go down to our keyboard, and Alt three is gonna take us right back to our third camera position. Not to mention, if you wanted to set up a camera view to be able to see your gas or your fuel gauges, we can do that as well. Now, the other thing that you can do with this is go in and adjust the sensitivity of these. So if you wanted to do that, all you need to do is hit the escape and then go into your control options 
And then you just want to scroll over to the Logitech dual action. I like that. And then you can come over here to sensitivity, give that a left click, and now you can adjust the sensitivity for each individual axis. As you can see, I've given us a minus 30% sensitivity on each axis on these controls. All right, so now that we've talked about how to set up some of the custom cockpit camera angles, let's go ahead and hop into the drone view and see what different settings we have for our drone view. All right, so now we were in drone mode and there's a couple different settings that we want to adjust in our camera settings up here so that we can get the most fluid drone movement that we can possibly get out of the camera. So we just go up here and highlight the camera Give it all left click, and then we're gonna come over here and adjust some of the settings for the showcase camera option. So there's only two settings here that we're gonna to wanna to use, and that is all the way down here to the bottom, and that's gonna be your drone speed and the drone rotation. Now, both of these are gonna play a really big part in getting those good fluid movements. For now, as you know, we've already set up the sensitivity for this, so that's gonna really help us out. And what the speed setting is gonna do is help us get a very nice and slow fluid movement on our drone camera. So if you wanna get those great drony shots and those pullaways, or say you wanna get those awesome orbit shots, it really makes it easy for you to do so when you have the control set up like this and if you have an Xbox controller. All right, so now that we've showed you how to set up your controller, now there's one downside to your drone and external camera modes, and that is we cannot set up custom camera views for our external camera shots. So I'm gonna show you how you can access some pre-set up external camera shots for each individual aircraft. The first thing that we need to do is go up here to the toolbar menu and go down here to the camera. Now, while you're in your showcase mode, a lot of people don't know about this, but if you go down to the bottom where it says fix camera, there's several different camera views here that we can choose from. That is gonna give us some really cool external shots and every plane is gonna be set up differently. So there's also a way that we can map all of these views in our showcase menu to a mappable device, like a joystick, throttle quadrant, yoke, or something like that. So let's talk about how we do that right now. The first thing we need to do is hit the escape button on the keyboard, and then we're gonna go over to the options menu. Now, once the menu populates, you're gonna highlight the piece of hardware that you wanna map these external views to. We're gonna use the alpha flight yoke, and we're just gonna highlight that all right, and again, you can see all of my mappings have been erased, so I've just added a couple just for the tutorial. And we're gonna open up our camera menu, and the menu that you're gonna wanna search for here, if you go over to Filter and select All, you're gonna go all the way down to where it says Fixed Camera. Those are the views that we're gonna concentrate on for those showcase camera angles. Now, I've set two of those up in our alpha flight yoke here, but let's go ahead and set one more up so you can see the process if you're unsure. So we're gonna select toggle fix camera two. We're just gonna highlight that, left click on it, and then we're going to left click on start scanning and then tap on the button that you wanna use for that camera view. As you can see, there's no other conflicts here with any other functions, so we are good to go. All we need to do is go down and hit the validate button, and we have now set up three different camera angles. So now let's go see how we're gonna apply that into the sim. First thing you need to do is hit the apply and save, and then we're gonna hit the go back and go back into the sim. So now from the cockpit menu, we just need to activate the drone camera. To do that, we just need to go up here to the camera icon, and then we can go over here to the showcase. Now I also have this function mapped to my insert button on the keyboard, so I can hit that as well. Now again, you can go down and scroll through all the different camera views, but the purpose of this is so we don't have to do that and it's much easier once they're mapped. So we can just exit out of that right now and now we can test out those views that we had mapped 
just a little bit ago. And as you can see, they are working quite well now. So this is just another way that you can get some really cool external shots. But keep in mind, you cannot adjust these shots with your controller. Okay, so now that we've gone over your drone camera and how to set up your custom camera views inside of the cockpit, now we're gonna go over how do we map those to our throttle quadrant, yokes, or stream deck. All right, so let's talk about that right now. So again, we're gonna hit the escape button on our keyboard and go up to the controls option menu. Now, once that loads up, you are gonna highlight whatever control you wanna to use to map your custom camera angles to. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna head over here and the filter, we are gonna change that from assigned and we're gonna switch that to all. Now, again, we're only really concerned with cameras, so we're just gonna open the camera dropdown and we're more concerned with the cockpit camera menus for our custom camera angles. So we're gonna hit the drop down for that as well. Next, all we need to do is to come down and look for the load custom camera. Now, once you get to the load custom camera, this is where we set up those custom views. We're gonna left click on that, and then we can go up here to where it says start scanning. We're gonna left click on that, and on your yoke, throttle, or any other piece of hardware that you're gonna be using the map to, you're gonna press the button that you wanna map it to. Now, once you press that button, it's gonna populate here. As you can see, this button has already been used somewhere in one of the settings here. For me, it really doesn't matter because I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. But if you do have a confliction here, you wanna make sure that you take care of that. Next, you wanna hit the validate button. And when you do, it is now going to save that file for you. When you go back to the cockpit, now all you have to do is tap on the button in which you mapped it to, and it will take you right to that camera view. Now for this demonstration, we're just gonna stick with the keyboard. So I'm just gonna hit the Alt and the number one. And again, that takes us right to our mapped camera view. Great, so I think that's just about gonna wrap us up for today. Again, if anybody has any questions, please drop those down below in the comments section and I will get right back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't done so already, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe and tick that little bell. Make sure to check us out over on our new Facebook group. Links will also be in the description. If you liked the video, smash on that thumbs up button. It really helps us get found by viewers like yourselves. Well, to all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.